And there I am, my friends, live on Melon TV. Good to see you. Good to be here. Hold on. Let me get uh, the channels uh, queued out here in just a quick second. Amen. <laughs> oh, it's so much to do. All right. Let's see. Anchor Cash Box, you guys are live on the air. Uh, amen and amen. All right, let's see <laughs> what we got going on. Uh, let's get to Spreaker.com channel three. Give me a minute. There you go. All right, right there you go. Bear with me, you guys. Hold that thought. I got a lot of channels uh happening here, so let me get to the monitors and uh let's see what i got <laughs> i got going on here hold on uh live on twitch tv today my friends how's that uh, i decided to go ahead and just jump back on here um uh, let's see let me go to that and hold that thought there it is let me get a sound check real quick here uh friends let me see what we got going on all right there it is classic amen friends well there you go we are finally uh finally on the air here over back over at twitch again so uh bear with me you guys hold your thoughts and your comments please if you can i appreciate that greatly uh always uh always appreciate that amen so let me go back in here again uh amen all right double check Hey, <laughs> double check my headset, my microphone, and all that good stuff, my friends. <clears throat> all right, still got those coughs. Uh, that has not gone away. It's still kind of been a hindrance to me, uh, but I am trying. So, anyway, it is uh, Wednesday, the 17th of August, and you're here live in the studio again, Pastor Rick. Good to see you. Good to be here finally again. Uh, it took a couple of a uh, couple of days to kind of regroup a little bit. Still dealing with that cough uh, again. <laughs> it's terrible, uh, but you know I I wade through it. I get through it and keep pressing in, keep digging in, friends. So anyway, a little after one twenty here. Uh, it took me a minute to get uh, started to get uh, to get everything booted up again. Uh, it's, uh, get a little bit of stutter in there. Wow, get excited! Can't help it, my friends. Just gotta get excited for this word. Uh, all right. Hold your thoughts again. Twitch TV. You are live on the air, my friends. We're wide live ministry podcast network. Pastor Rick here, hanging out again. Hundred and five today. So I decided to work on the inside of the studios and work on the mobile unit and everything. So, uh, <laughs> you know, mercy. That's a lot. So. Uh, all right, so we are going, uh, going good there, and hold that thought, friends. Give me a minute. We're going to pray it in and get to our broadcast. Got a lot to uh, cover on this afternoon's Bible study. Uh, we're going to open up with Joel, my friends. There's not much there. It's probably a real short, shortest book, and you know, in there anyway. So we're going to read Joel one through three. Have some coffee yeah, and get some uh, Bible study, get some church service in. Uh, I think everything looks okay on the background now. Uh, I reset it a little bit and kind of maneuvered the microphone, or not microphone, but the camera here. And I think the cross is good. Oh, my friends, how are you guys doing? Wow, we're in the middle of the week. Uh, <laughs> Wednesday the 17th. Let's get going. We are live on the studio in the studio, Melon TV, YouTube, Twitch TV with us, Twitter, LinkedIn, and more, my friends. Of course, Spreaker Block Talk Radio as well. Uh, amen. Oh, let's see. Get all the volume and kick caster <laughs> cash box, anchor cash box. Oh, mercy, my friends. Well, I, I think I got it all set up and, and already uh, out. You guys uh, posted it out earlier today, so hopefully you guys will have it there. Uh, thank you, guys. Let's get to it. Um, let me get my monitors going 
here just a second. Let me check Twitter. Podcast three live over at Twitter. Uh, amen. About a million plus views there. That's awesome. Uh, posted the updates on the channels there. So that was really good. Uh, that was pretty awesome. Uh, amen. All right. So, yeah, I am live right now. Um, let's see. There it is. Live right now on uh, Twitter, our Twitter channel. Wednesday afternoon for service, friends. Uh, amen. Now, I'll try to see if I can't get back on here later on tonight. I don't know. I never know my schedule. Uh, it's kind of uh, hectic and stuff. Uh, you know, you guys know. You follow the channel and you subscribe to the channels. That's always awesome. I do appreciate that. Uh, let's get going, my friends. And uh, <laughs> let's get to it. Let's see. Now, let me get my schedule uh set up there and then my screen amen all right twitch tv again uh let's see what's going on with that minister podcast live at twitch tv you can find me in the talk and uh, i believe the talk shows in the podcast category there always appreciate the follows there and the subscribers you guys are awesome all right let's pray then let's get some church Heavenly Father, thank you again as I come before you on this great day this afternoon. Uh, as I share the word, I share the scriptures and uh, read uh, read your word here, Father God. I thank you for that, Jehovah Jireh. I uh, appreciate the opportunities I get to do this and uh, just to uh, be, uh, you know, soaking in the spirit here. Well, we're going to have some coffee. We're going to read the Bible. And uh, I want to pray for uh, each and every one watching hearing subscribing checking out the channels even if it's just for a minute or two uh father god bless them as you do have your holy angels around them uh protect them guide them lift them up encourage them father god as you always do i know your hand is always on this ministry as i always say every day i'm humbled grateful honored and uh it's just uh, uh great to do this uh, father god for you so again i know your hand is on this ministry Watch over the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Watch over the connection here as I continue this. Also, as I continue this, cough, uh, Father God, I know I praise you through the infirmities. I praise you through all of it. So, uh, yeah, just watch over the <laughs> watch over the Wi-Fi. We've been having problems, Father God, but I know you you get you you got it. You got it all under control. You don't need anybody's help. So, Father God, thank you. Uh, as a uh, again, as I continue this mission. Uh, that you have called me to a long time ago, Father God. I know this is what you want me to do. Not what I want to do, but this is what you want to do. You want me to do. And I, I do appreciate it, Father God. It's not what I expected in my life, Father God, but, uh, you know, when we let go and surrender, uh, you uh, always provide. So thank you, Father God, for that. Even though I make lots of mistakes here and uh, kind of fumble over my words. I know this is where you have me, and I appreciate that, and I'm humbled again. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jehovah. <sighs> Yahweh, thank you. In Jesus' name, I pray right now on this service, on this podcast uh, today. I praise you right now. I give it all to you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. All right, my friends. What's happening on your end? I'm good. We are, like I said, hit triple digits again. So I'm not doing a whole lot, watering in the shade and really staying undercover there. So uh, staying in the cool, it's uh, it's pretty hot. So, uh, <laughs> all right. Well, listen, we got some coffee. I got my milk sitting over here. Got some cool, fresh milk today. Uh, and, of course, my water. So, you know, always got to have a backup plan for a backup plan. All right, before I get into any scripture for, or any uh, podcast notes, of course, uh, uh, um, clear the frogs from my throat, my friends. Uh, all right, well, let's uh, let's settle down, pull up a chair, my friends. The doors are always open here, Studio A. Uh, again, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network, Pastor Rick here, August 17th, Wednesday, right? We're in the middle of the week. Wow, that's that's just moving right along. Uh, <laughs> it is. I'm not kidding. 
Like, what happened to Monday? Well, we don't much like Mondays, but, uh, you know, uh, we're okay with that. All right, so there it is. <coughs> and again, I still got this. Uh, <laughs> still got this. Oh, this cough. It just won't leave me alone. But, you know, I just do what I got to do to keep moving forward, friends. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. And I'm just kind of watching monitors and stuff here. Uh, really kind of making sure everything's operating well. All right. Uh, let's see. We've got that rolling. And Block Talk, you guys are on the air. Good to see you. Well, you know, it's audio podcast and video at the same time. Simulcasting, I guess. Pretty awesome. Uh, great technology, great uh, technique here. What's, uh, what's the word, friends? Well, open up your Bibles, my precious brothers and sisters. We got some studying to do. We got some Bible study to uh, take care of today. A little bit of church service in the afternoon here. Always appreciate the opportunities. Like I said, I'm grateful uh, that uh, God has called me into this. As uh, tough as it has been and is sometimes. Uh, and you guys, again, that broadcast, like you do your church services there. Well, you know how tough it is. But, hey, God, boy, God just takes care of business, don't doesn't he? Amen. All right. So, you guys are getting the audio and the video part, like I said. And, uh, boy, it's awesome. Uh, and so, uh, amen. Lost in thought, but let's keep moving. <laughs> let's keep this church service happening, my friends. Good to see you. Well, let's again, uh, we're going to get into the book of Joel. So if you have your Bibles with you, go on, open them up, friends. Go ahead and open them up. Uh, and uh, let's read some word, friends. Let's let's get into some church service. I am good to see you, friends. Amen on this, on this Wednesday afternoon. All right. So let me give you a little bit of background in case you didn't know. Uh, I have the... Uh, of course, the King James uh, Study Bible here, the version of that. So it's got a little bit of uh, background history to it. So always, uh, always like the opportunity to share that with you, friends. Amen. Now let's get into the name and the author of Joel. Let's get into a little bit of background uh, as we look at the theme and content. So let's take a look at that, friends. Good to see you again, brothers and sisters. All right. Name and author, Joel. Jehovah is God. In the name given to this book and the uh, prophet, that's, uh, boy, I'm jumping right into that. Uh, the prophet whose message it conveys, nothing is known about this prophet except that he is the son of Pethuel. Interesting there. Who also is unknown, according uh, to the traditional viewpoint, Joel was active in the days of the boy King uh, Josiah. Or, or Joash. It's Joash. So there you go. Uh, amen. Let me get that maneuver around here. Uh, all right. So uh, he uh, was active in the days of the boy king, Joash, who ruled in Judah, 835 to 796 uh, B.C. Now let's look at the theme and the content here. The awesome stuff. All right. Let me fix. I don't know what's going on with that. There it is. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. My headset, my microphones. I I did finally get my other Bluetooth, so uh, I may be switching <laughs> switching over to that. So, all right. So let's keep moving. Let's keep going. We've got uh, the theme and the content here. Let's go ahead and look at that. Uh, the occasion of Joel's prophecy was a locust plague, uh, using this terrible devastation as the basis for his message. Uh, now, Joel admonishes the people to repent again, right, and repentance. Uh, he also warns of a greater judgment to come in or to come in the crucial day of the Lord when judgment will be universal. Before that day, uh, God will send his prophets. Now, that's over. Uh, uh, let's see. It's uh, continued there. He will send his spirit, not the prophet, but he will send his spirit, friends. That's over in chapter, again, and the book of Joel here. 
Uh, that is chapter 2, 28-29. Uh, Peter, in Acts 2.16, I believe that that is uh, 2.16, uh, identifies the fulfillment uh, of his uh, prediction and points to the future as the day of judgment. Now, Joel concludes his message uh, with the, uh, boy, exaltation of Israel in uh, Zion over all heathen nations. Now, let's look at just a few uh, part of the background here as my phone went to sleep and took a nap. What? <laughs> um, let's see. All right. So, that's going well let me back up over here um to the monitor here of course huh. all right hold that thought friends give me a minute uh, well hang on i'm having some <laughs> some technical problems again all right there it is so anyway, uh, let's go back. We were looking at uh, just a little bit of a uh, kind of a background here. Wow. Major glitches in the system. Not surprising. Uh, it wants to go in circles. Uh, I'm trying to turn the volume level down on my uh, on my phone here on the monitor and it circles back to somebody else's video it just wipes me out and, and goes in there <sighs> really i keep telling the devil he's got to try harder than that because he's not going to win not on my watch all right so let's get back to it shall we all right so we're going to look at the kind of uh, we're looking at the background here now this is going to be one through five we got the locust plague in judah we got Joel's warning and intercession, uh, warning and admonition. Uh, let's see, admonition. There it is. Uh, God's response of promises or promise, and the universal judgment at Israel's restoration. Kind of feels like we're in a kind of going through that, much, uh, you know, ourselves here. Uh, amen. All right. So I'm having again some problems with my microphone again, my headset, uh, which is not surprising, really. Uh, amen. Yeah, how that goes here. Well, I think we can maybe, yeah, <laughs> man. So many problems. I'm like, you know, this is just a normal, typical podcast. You guys have been watching and uh, checking out the videos here, the podcast here. You guys know. it's uh, we. I just keep pushing through and pressing in, you know, no matter what the obstacles hit me. Uh, but I, you don't have to deal with all kinds of stuff. All right. As they told the devil, get behind me, Satan. You got no authority, not in this house. Not any at all. Any like zip. You're you're done. You're toast. Get to packing, devil. Uh, <laughs> man, boy, it gets old, doesn't it? You know when you deal with the devil and you, you have to deal with all that uh, nonsense. <sighs> you know, don't be fooled by the lies and deception of the enemy, my friends. You gotta stand your ground by the authority, right? Authority or what? However you say that, by the authority that you have. Amen. All right, well, let's reel it in. Let's bring it back in. Let's get right to the Bible, my friends. We are going to look at, again as we're going to open up here today. We're going to open up with Joel. Well, and you know, y'all know I get my rambling time in, right? You know, that's that doesn't change here. I, I get some rambling time, a little bit of Bible study, a lot of Bible study, but, you know, and some coffee thrown in. Why not? All right. Uh, <laughs> good to see you guys. Boy, I'm glad to be on. All right, let's look at Joel, the locust plague in Judah, my friends. Very interesting uh, book here. Now, the word of the Lord that came to Joel, the son of Pethuel, uh, hear this, ye old men. 
And give ear, all ye inhabitants of the land, hath this been in your days or even in the days of your fathers. Tell ye your children of it, and let your children tell their children and their children another generation. All right. That which the palmer worm uh, hath left, uh, let's see, hath the locust eaten, and that which the locusts have eat, uh, half, uh, left hath the cankerworm eaten. And that which the cankerworm hath left hath the caterpillar eaten. Awake, ye drunkards, and weep and howl, all ye drinkers of wine, because of the new wine, for it is cut out or cut off from your mouth for a nation has come up upon my land strong and without number whose teeth are the teeth of a lion now watch this friends uh if you take a notes check this out in verse six for a nation has come up uh, upon my land strong and without number whose teeth are the teeth of a lion and he hath the cheek teeth of a great lion he hath laid my vine waste and bark my fig tree uh, he hath made it clean bare and cast it away the branches uh, there are made white lament like a virgin girded with sackcloth for the husband of a youth uh, meat offering and a drink offering and let me get those notes together there uh is cut off from the house of the lord the priests the lord's ministers mourn the field is wasted the land mourneth for the corn is wasted the new wine is dried up the oil languisheth be ye ashamed o ye husband men how, O ye vine dressers, for the wheat and for the barley, because the harvest of the field is perished. Now, there's some parables that we need to watch in this book. That's why it came to me, and I, I wanted to go ahead and go into it. Uh, so the vine is dried up as we move over to verse 12 here. The vine is dried up, and the fig tree languisheth it. And the pomegranate tree, the palm, let's see, the palm tree also, and the apple tree, even if the trees of the field are withered, because joy is withered away from the sons of men. Now, gird yourselves as we look at Joel's warnings and intercession here. As you're if you're taking notes, friends, this is what it, uh, my notes say here. Joel's warning and intercession. Gird yourselves and lament. Ye priests, howl, ye ministers of the altar. Come, lie all night in sackcloth, ye ministers of my God, for the meat offering and the drink offering is withholden from the house of your God. Sanctify ye a fast, call a solemn assembly. Gather the, end, uh, the elders, all the inhabitants of the, land, the house of the Lord your God, and cry unto the Lord. Alas for the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand, and as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come. Uh, is Let's see, uh, in verse 16, Is not the meat cut off before our eyes? Yea, joy and gladness from the house of our God. The seed is rotten under their clods, the garners are laid desolate, the barns are broken down, and uh, for the corn is withered. How do the beasts groan? The herds of cattle are perplexed. Because they have no pasture, yea, the flocks of sheep are made desolate. O Lord, to thee will I cry, for the fire hath devoured the pastures of the wilderness. And the flame hath burned all the trees of the field. The beasts of the field cry also unto thee, for the rivers of water are dried up, 
of the fire hath devoured the pastures of the wilderness. Wow. All right. <sighs> I just, I just gotta walk away. I just, the microphone has been, uh, it's, it's perfect. It works great. But uh, sometimes, like I said, if you guys have these, uh, you got to talk pretty much direct into it. I think on the sides as well. But for the most part, what I've noticed, the volume level changes when you if you're a little bit away. So I have my everything on my mixer turned up pretty good. We're recording live right now. We're at Spreaker.com channel three. That's why I got all the microphones there. You guys already know the rundown. Uh, I've got the lab mics, the main mic, the headset mic. It's a lot. I'm multi, basically, I'm multi channeling or multi recording here uh, on multiple channels. So, amen. All right. Got that fresh brewed coffee going on. Glad you're here. Appreciate each and every one of you watching, listening, hearing, signing up. Amen. All right, so we're going to continue. A little bit of rabbling going on. You know I got to do that, my friends. Get my rabbling time, coffee time, and let's get to the Bible again. How about chapter 2 in the book of Joel, my friends? All right, and here it is, my friends. Watch this. A call to repentance and fasting, if we will. Amen. And we will, right? All right. Now, blow ye the trumpet in Zion. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord. Now watch this, friends. For the day of the Lord cometh. For it is uh, nigh at hand. Now, again, this is why I went to Joel today. Real, uh, just, boy, did that hit me. Hit me in the spirit, <laughs> right? Now, a day of darkness, friends, and of gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, um, a great people and a strong. There hath not been ever the like before, shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations yeah, that's that up my friend i'm telling you, that is uh something else there pretty prophetic um now we, we can go over that again friend just in case the sun was in your eyes or if you happen to step away for a second let me repeat the verse friends because we are in joel chapter 2 called the repentance and fasting um all right chapter or yeah chapter two verse two in the book of joel now a day of darkness and gloominess a day of clouds and of thick darkness as the morning spread upon the mountains a great people and a strong there hath not ever uh, been ever the like neither shall be any more after it even to the years of many generations wow friends all right, let me second there. I'll write that down. Put that in your notes, uh, friends. Now let's keep going. Verse three. <coughs> now fire devoureth before them, friends, and behind them a flame burneth. And the land is at the garden, or as the garden of Eden before them. And behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing or nothing shall escape them. Now the appearance of them uh, is as the appearance of horses and uh, as horsemen, and they shall run. The noise of chariots on the tops of the mountains shall they leap, like the noise of a flame of fire that devoureth the uh, stubble. As a strong people set in battle array before their face, the people shall be much pained. 
all faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. Uh, they shall much everyone on his ways. They shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk everyone in his path, friends. Everyone in his path. Whew. Wow. All right, yeah, let me remember where I'm at here. So I lost track. <laughs> there he is, verse, verse eight. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. All right, they shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses. And they shall enter in at the windows like a thief, right? All right. And the earth. Now watch this in verse 10 here. The earth shall quake before them as we're truly seeing in the end times, my friends. I, I don't know how many warnings we got to get, right? Now watch this again in verse 10. The earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars, as my notes dropped, <laughs> the, uh, the stars shall withdraw their shining. That looks like the uh, the blood moons. Uh, and uh, what is it? I uh, can't re even read my writing here. <laughs> anyway. Very quakes, divers places, or something like that. You know the scripture there, friends. We shall have uh, earthquakes in, in, in divers places, right? In various places. We're truly seeing that right now. Uh, <laughs> and it, the heavens shall tremble. And the sun and the moon uh, will be dark, or shall be dark, as he says. And the stars shall withdraw their shining. Clearly seeing these signs today my friends gotta watch gotta pay attention here all right so let me get to this uh and the lord shall utter his voice before his army for his camp is very great for he is strong uh that executeth his word for the day of the lord is great church and very terrible. And he says, who can abide it? Mercy. <clears throat> now, therefore, also know, saith the Lord. Uh, Turn ye even to me with all your heart, God with fasting. Or and with fasting. And with weeping, right? And with mourning. And rend your heart and not your garments. And turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful. Slow to anger and of great kindness. And repent of him of evil. I just got a huge, very spiritual feeling, like, like real overwhelming. Uh, like a Holy Spirit rush here, friends. I get these from time to time, not very often, but that's powerful. If that'll bring you to tears, my friends, I don't know what else will. Wow. That's amazing. That's just, like I said, I don't always get these sometimes, these spiritual rushes, but boy, when I do, it's powerful. It just overcomes me. Uh, really just kind of takes me by, uh, kind of takes me by surprise. I have, have to kind of reel it in for a second. Wow. All right, let's keep, let's keep rolling along here, friends. Got a lot more to cover. So, uh, who knoweth if he will return and repent? And leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a, and a, a drink offering unto the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet of Zion, sanctify a fast, and call a solemn assembly. 
uh, gather the people, sanctify the gen uh, the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, and those that suck the breasts uh, of the bridegroom or uh, let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar and let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, and give them not, or give them not uh, <clears throat> thine heritage to reproach that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, where is their God? And clearly hear us all the time. Um, all right. So God's response and promises or promise as we are in the book of Joel here this afternoon. Now, then in verse 18, then will the Lord be jealous for his land and pity uh, his people. Yea, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil, and ye shall be satisfied therewith. And I will no more make you a reproach among the heathen, but I will remove far off from you the northern army. Again, watch the, uh, the uh, information here, uh, friends. So, we're talking about the northern army. That's the first one he talks about here. And we'll drive him into a land barren and desolate with his face towards the East Sea. Ugh. There's that. Almost got to feel like I got a sneeze coming on. Marcy. All right. Um, so as he said, toward the East Sea and his hinder part towards the utmost sea. And his stink shall come up, and his ill savor come up, because he hath done great things. Fear not, O land, be glad, and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring, for the tree beareth his fruit. The fig tree and the vine, do ye feel their strength or yield their strength? And be glad then, oh, uh, excuse me, he says, ye children of Zion, rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down to you or for you uh, the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. And the floor shall be full of wheat, and vates uh, shall overflow with wine and oil. All right, boy, I feel a sneeze. Oh, mercy. All right. Uh, let's see. 25. And I will... Now, watch this, friend. This is why I love this part of the book of Joel here. And I will restore to you the years that the locust... Uh, hath eaten the canker worm and the caterpillar uh, and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent uh, around you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and prayed, uh, or praise his name of the Lord your God and hath dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed, right? Uh, and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord, your God, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. Whew. Powerful fronts. Powerful. Man, wow. Uh, mercy. All right. The outpouring of God's spirit. I kind of... <laughs> I have to turn my Bible the other direction because it, it's hard to read when it's sitting up there. I guess I got to do something with my pulpit here. All right. Now I feel like I said I've been I've been feeling this real powerful sneeze coming on, and we've been spraying this cleaner and stuff inside the studios, and of course the spider spray. 
that stuff. So, uh, so anyway, if I sneeze, I'll warn you, you know, sneeze in aisle three. Uh, anyway, let's keep going. Got a lot to cover, man. Uh, the outpouring of God's spirit. Let's look at that. Verse 28 in the book of Joel here, friends. And it shall come to pass afterward that I, he says, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days. Uh, will I pour out my spirit. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke, right? That looks like, uh, oh, the solar eclipses and the blood moons again, friends. Check that out. Now, as we get into verse 31, the sun shall be turned into darkness. Solar eclipse here. And the moon into blood. The blood moons, he talks about again. Before the great and the terrible day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered, friends. What? He says he shall be delivered. Amen. Uh, for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance as the lord has said and in the remnant who the lord shall call so that's your key scripture right there friends uh, in verse 32 in case you were drinking coffee or something or getting coffee i don't know and it shall come to pass and whoever shall uh, whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be delivered for in the Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. All right, let's go to chapter 3, Judgment on the Nations, church. For behold, in those days and in the time, or that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I shall gather all nations. Uh, and it will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them, therefore, my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine. Uh, right there. Uh, that they might drink. And yea, and what ye. To do with me, O Tyr and Zidon, and all the coasts of the Palestine, will ye render me a recompense? Uh, and if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, and in return your recompense, or I will return, let's see, and speedily, swiftly and speedily will return your recompense upon your own head and because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples uh my godly or goodly pleasant things the children also of judah uh and of the children of jerusalem have sold yeast into the grecians that ye might remove them uh far from their border and behold i will raise them out of the place whither ye have sold them and will return your recompense upon your own head all right let's go to the next verse here in verse 8 chapter 3 uh and i will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of judah and they shall sell them to the sabaeans to a people far off for the lord has spoken it mercy now proclaim ye this among the gentiles prepare war as he says um and let's go on now wake up the mighty men let all the men of war draw near let them come up 
beat your plowshares into swords and your prune hooks or pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Amen. Right? Hey, we've got to speak it into being. We've got to receive it and believe it. Amen. All right. As again, in that last part of verse 10, let the weak say, I am strong. Amen. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be weakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Amen. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come get you down, for the press is full, the vats overflow. For their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision uh, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Wow. The sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall withdraw their shining. Now you notice, friends, <coughs> pretty much in each verse or each chapter in the book of Joel, if you're taking notes now, uh, you notice that he talks about the blood moons, um, the earthquakes, and the uh, the eclipse or eclipses, right? Three different chapters, or three different, yeah, three different chapters uh, in one book describes that same um, that same scenario, that same scene. Pretty prophetic, if you ask me, uh, friends. And this is, again, this is why I wanted to cover Joel, uh, because it's powerful. There's a lot in it to unpack. And so if you look at each, ver each uh, chapter, if you're taking notes here, friends, real powerful, friends, real powerful. So let's uh, let's keep rolling again. We were at verse 15. The sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall withdraw their shining. Now, as we, <coughs> as we go to 16, the Lord shall roar, uh, also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem. And the heavens and the earth shall shake. Again, earthquakes, right? Description of an earthquake. The earth shall shake. But the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. Amen. Now, so shall uh, ye know that I am the Lord, your God dwelling in Zion, uh, my holy mountain, then shall Jerusalem be holy. Um, let's see, I can't get to my notes here. Uh, and there shall be, uh, and there shall no strangers pass through her, uh, through her anymore. And it shall come to pass in that day that the mountain shall drop down new wine, and the hills shall flow with milk, and all the rivers of Judah shall flow with waters, and a mountain, a uh, fountain shall come forth. Uh, of the house of the Lord and shall water the valley of Shedem. Now Egypt shall be a desolation and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah because they have sh uh, shed innocent blood in their land. But Judah uh, shall dwell forever in Jerusalem from generation to generation. For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed. For the Lord dwelleth in Zion. Whew. And there you go. I know it took a long time to read the book of Joel. But there was so much to unpack. And it just, I boy, certain parts I get this spiritual rush. I get kind of explainable or hard to explain here 
but it's just whew, overwhelming. It's just amazingly like overwhelming. Uh, and again, you guys, when you get them, boy, it's hard to describe. Uh, it's uh, pretty, pretty mind boggling, <laughs> right? It's unexpected. You know, the supernatural sometimes when you get that supernatural spiritual rush, it's hard to explain it. Uh, that you know, because it never makes any sense to anybody else, but you get it, you understand it. Uh, and uh, man, I tell you, friends, it's uh, it's just amazing. All right, well, again, good to be here, my friends. Wednesday afternoon, August 17th, just a little bit earlier than usual. Now, I'll probably go on later on tonight, sometime after 10 o'clock. We got Restream TV coming up. If I don't get to it, I'll do it tomorrow morning or something. I don't know. I just <laughs> never know when I get an opportunity. Uh, and so, uh, oops. Uh, I, I just never know when I, I kind of want to stay as steady as I can. Now, I took yesterday uh, off um, to kind of recoup a little bit from the heat. But I have another work day, early work day. So I'll probably uh, have to, you know, about four or five hours again, three or four hours maybe. Uh, a little bit of yard work, a little bit of landscaping to do. <coughs> uh, mercy. Boy, that's tough. Uh, hang on here, friends. And, of course, still dealing with this. But so anyway, yeah. So, if, you know, I'll try to work around tomorrow's schedule. I don't know. I've got a few early, you know, a few hours of work. Uh, hopefully it'll it'll like drop down to about 90. I'll handle it. I'll take it. <laughs> try, try to work it in triple digits. Boy, it's hot. Uh, so. Anyway, I kind of overdid it the other day and uh, kind of had to reset, reschedule a little bit. So I'm trying to get back as close to somewhat of a, a normal schedule for you guys uh, as best I can here. Um, but uh, yeah, so I won't be doing an early podcast. I'm going to try to get out and done early. Uh, like I said, I got a little bit of yard work and some landscaping to do. So I will... Uh, I'll get that taken care of then, and, uh, you know, and if I, like I said, if I get a chance, I'll pop back on here, probably be, uh, probably be back here at Melon TV again. Uh, I should be going on tonight, like I said, sometime uh, after 10 o'clock on Restream TV, and then like a, like the schedule planned was uh, to kind of rotate those back and forth between the two channels, so, uh, amen, amen, and amen, and well, just because I can and I will. Amen again, right? All right. Uh, let's get to our podcast notes, my friends. If you happen to have those written down somewhere, you got to have them, my friends. Get a set of sticky notes and write them down. Mercy. All right. Now, I'm going to say this prayer. Get a hold of me. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast at yahoo.com, the official email for the ministry. I know. I had to shorten it up and make it easy. <laughs> Mercy. That's the shortest name I could come up with. Well, I didn't do it. God did it. The Spirit gave it to me, and that's what he, you know, he, he gave it to me like that. So, anyway, look, well, confused with the devil there. You know, you throw the devil off his trail, right? Amen. All right. Well, let's break it down, my friends. Get into our podcast notes here this afternoon. The Sinner's Prayer of Salvation. Let's go ahead and read it together, my friends. Church, see you. Good to be back on Melon TV. Fresh. The fresh word of God and a fresh cup of coffee, my friends. Amen. Well, again, and I hope you guys are doing well. Stay out of the heat if you can. Drink lots of water and read your Bibles, my friends. Uh, and uh, say your prayers, right? All right, let's get to it. We're going into our podcast notes for this afternoon's podcast. First service here. Let's get to it. Come on in, my friends. Church is on. Let's get going. Again. <laughs> right? Well, we already got into the book of Joel. Let's go into the uh, podcast notes here. Your scripture notes. <coughs> Mercy. All right. He says, dear God, I know that I am a sinner and I need a savior. I want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Please forgive me of my sins or for my sins. 
cleanse me of my past. Make me new, because we are a new creation. We're a new creature, my friends. I know your son, Jesus Christ, <clears throat> died on the cross for me. We're going to make that personal, friends. He died on the cross for each and every one of us. He became a propitiation for our sins. Powerful friends, come on now. I all right. So I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. And at this very moment, church, friends, brothers and sisters, at this very moment, I accept, confess, and proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. And again, that's your key part there. Uh, to live in my heart from this day forward. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace that has saved me from my sins and has given me a life. Please send your Holy Spirit to guide me and to help me to do your will for the rest of my life. And in Jesus' name we pray, church. Amen. And amen. By his grace, love, and mercy. Man. Unmerited, unearned, undeserved. It's a free gift of God, and we like that free. Amen. Well, you know, we got a lot more to cover here, friends. Let's get into it. Like I said, we're getting into our scripture notes, podcast notes here. Uh, how about we go do the serenity prayer, friends? Because Lord knows we need some serenity all up in this house, all in our bodies, our souls. Amen. All right, let's keep rolling. <clears throat> serenity prayer let's get to it my friends wow good to see all you guys on online today that's awesome uh let's see all right uh god grant me the serenity to accept the things i cannot change come on now the courage to change the things i can and the wisdom to know the difference and living one day at a time my brethren and sistren amen uh, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardships as a pathway to peace, taking as Jesus did uh, the sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, and trusting that he will make all things right. Now, here's the key, friends. If we surrender to his will, amen. Now, that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. And, you know, we talk about that quite a bit in the, uh, what is it, uh, the book of uh, Revelation there, I think at about uh, verse 21 or so, talks about that. We're going to be going, actually, Friday's podcast, friends, uh, we're going to be talking about, um, oh, where's my notes on that? Um, we're going to be talking about the two witnesses in the book of uh, Revelation, friends. I think about from verse or chapter 12, 13, somewhere in there. Um, I have had a lot of emails, a lot of requests um, to go back into that again. So Friday's uh, Friday's live podcast, friends. We're going to talk about um, the uh, the two witnesses. Very interesting in the Bible, my friends. Uh, we're going to check that out. So join me, if you will. I dare you. Come on over, my friends. Check it out. Uh, again, the two witnesses, uh, friends. It's going to be awesome. Again, well, I've gone uh, many times. I've gone into Revelation, the book of Revelation, for probably as long as I've been doing these podcasts, decades here. Well, at least a, a short decade anyway. But, uh, yeah, we, we're going to be taking a look at the book of Revelation again. I'm kind of breaking that, that, that book down uh, as I get a chance to get an opportunity. Uh, so, uh, again, Friday, I believe it's Friday night, 10 o'clock uh, p.m., all the podcasts are Pacific Standard Time here. Um, I'm going to be breaking down the two witnesses, uh, Moses and Elisha. Now, some say it could be Enoch. We don't know, but I'm going to be looking at that again. So you got to dial in, tune in. <laughs> Amen. Get your get your Bibles out. Make sure you got the book of Revelation because I'm going to be digging into that again. So, all right, Anchor Cast Box, you guys are winding down. Good to see you on this afternoon. First service, you're in your first 
more, my friends. The Worldwide Ministry Podcast Network. Pastor Rick here, hanging out in Studio A, uh, relaxing in the Word, relaxing right here with you guys uh, as we have our Bible study. You're live on Melon TV. We got YouTube all up in the house, Twitch TV, Twitter, uh, Castbox, Anchor, all the all the good channels. All you guys know. You guys know, right? Sing, Amen. All right, so I'm just kind of winding that clock down for Anchor Cast Box. Uh, it's real convenient now. I've actually got another tripod kind of thing, and it's setting right down here, uh, right next to my tablet. So kind of reset the studio a little bit, get the monitors up here, the laptops here going on. And, uh, of course, you guys know i got my mixer on the side, so uh, everything is real, real good here. Amen. And, of course, my desk. That's why I always go to the right side here. My desk is sitting right here with my Bibles and notes and stuff. So, anyway, a quick rundown of the studio here. And, of course, you're there. I'm here. We're in church. Let's get going. Let's keep going, friends. Amen. You're in your second hour now, my brother and sisters, for this, again, Wednesday afternoon, August 17th. Pastor Rick, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast, live on the air, in the studio, having a little bit of coffee. We're reading the Bible, my friends. We're getting into our podcast notes. Let's keep rolling. Uh, amen, friends. Amen. The Lord's prayer, shall we, my friends? Oh, mercy. Come on now. Uh, our Father, which art in heaven. Now, say this with me, friends, right where you're at. Uh, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth or in earth, as it is in heaven. Now give us this day our daily uh, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And I know that's a tough one to do, but we got to do it, my friends. As we forgive them that trespass against us, and lead us not into temptations, friends. Church, here it is, but deliver us from evil. Watch this. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Oh, that's good stuff, friends. Good stuff there. All right. Let's roll on over. We got to roll on to the next part. How about we boot up and suit up, my friends? Why don't we put some armor on? Go to your scriptures, if you will. Go to your Bible, if you got them. Uh, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20, of course, the, the whole armor of God. Not a piece, not a part. We got to have the whole armor of God, my friends. You can't go into a, into a battle with a, uh, what was it, a saran wrap and a water gun. You get, you get, you get God, my friends. Come on now. You got to suit up with the whole armor of God. So let's go to your word. Let's go to the word here, friends. Uh, your Bibles, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. There's my microphone again. Uh, amen. Ah, uh, my friend. Boy, if we don't get excited about this word, I don't know what else to do. We got to get excited about the word. <laughs> amen. All right, let's go to it. Let's get to it. We got the whole armor of God. Again, not a part, not a piece, not a latchet. The whole armor of God, my friends. Amen. Suit up and boot up, my buddies, my friends, my pals. Amen. Good to see you guys. <laughs> All right. Finally, as he says, my brethren and sistren, he tells us to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And as we... And again, in verse 11, we put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Uh, and against the spiritual wickedness in high places. Uh, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, because there's more. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod to the preparation of the gospel of peace. 
above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, friends. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the Word of God, our Bibles, right? Uh, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that their enemy speak boldly as I ought to speak. Well, there you go. Amen. How you guys doing? Are you holding up okay? We're in our second hour here. You're live on the air. My brethren and sisters, we are looking at the Bible study, the podcast notes. Let me grab some coffee. Got a couple more for you here, and then we'll get back into the, you know, we're in the Bible. Anyhow. In the word day, my friends. Wednesday afternoon. Good to see you. Almost three o'clock. Well, no, not even close. I guess we're closer to two thirty. Man. All right. I thought I was going to sneeze. I'm trying not to. Uh, <laughs> it's it's tough. Like I said, we just sprayed we just sprayed a bunch of uh, like sprays and stuff in the studios. Uh, we've been having the spider and kind of a kind of an infestation of spiders uh, in in the studios, but I only had one so far. That's been months and months and months ago. Anyway, uh, so that's kind of why I've been feeling like I got the sneeze coming on. I've been good with it so far, but whew, wow. <laughs> anyway, let's continue giving you a spider update, a bug in, you know, a, a bug update 101. I, I don't know, whatever that is. Let's get back to the word, shall we? <laughs> Amen. Well, how about we look at some books of Psalm, my friends? You know, I always love reading those. Uh, let's go to it. Uh, how about uh, Psalm 23? Can I get a witness? Amen. Psalm 23. Let's do it. Well, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures, and he leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul, amen. Uh, he leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff become for me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You anoint my head with oil, cup overflows, and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Oh, that's that's just, boy, is that don't warm your hearts, friends? Oh, mercy. Come on now. Well, let's get to another uh, one of my favorites, one of my go-to scriptures uh, in uh, times of trouble. I got to do it, my friends. How about we go to Psalm 91? Let's check that out on today's podcast. Let's get to it. Psalm 91. And when you get there, give me a big amen, church. Come on now. I got to hear it. I got to. I know you're there. Uh, hey, man, let's get to it. All right. Psalm 91. The psalmist of chapter 91. Let's read it together here, friends. Now he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to Yahweh, or to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God or my Elohim, in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. 
because you have made the Lord Church your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge. We're going to make that personal again. Who is our refuge, my refuge. Claim it, my friends. Claim it and receive it. Oh, amen. All right, the Most High, who is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall you. And no plague. What? No plague. We got to believe it and receive it again. Uh, come near your tent. Don't get fooled by the lies and deceptions of the devil, my friends. Come on now. Uh, you know, God gave us that authority. When Jesus died on the cross, my friends, come on now. Don't listen to the lies of the enemy. Don't be deceived, brothers and sisters. Use that authority. Man, people just forget their authority and just get all goo gooed, right? Or whatever the word is. They get all lost and out of sorts and all like confused or something. Like the devil comes in there to confuse them. Well, you know, the, the devil is a liar. He comes in there to steal, kill, and destroy. Well, come on now. Mercy. <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> all right. Right there, friends. Check it out. He says, no plague uh -uh, come near your tent. I know I get these little scratches and coughs and sneezes and stuff. I believe in the power of healing, friends. By his stripes, we are healed. Oh, mercy. Don't get me started. <laughs> hey, man, let's continue. We got a little bit more to cover here. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the ass of the young lion and the serpent. The devil again sticking his nose in our business. Uh, really? Hi. <laughs> as, my, as my friend said, Oy vey, really? Devil? Is that all you got? You better get a backup plan for a backup plan and have some strong coffee. It's not going to work. All right. <laughs> you will trample. See, he tells us you will trample underfoot. Well, as we look at the next verse, because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him <clears throat> and show him my Yahusha or salvation. Whew. Well, there you go. <laughs> Come on, friends. Oh, my word. All right. Well, <laughs> I know. Let's see what's on the menu. All right. One of my other favorites. Uh, bumping up. Where are we going to go? We got to get my notes together. Do, 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 Stay with me. Bear with me. Well, a lot of you guys have been asking about doing some daytime podcasting. I like I said, I never know. I I had to shut all those down because of the daytime construction. We have several crews coming through the studios. We got bet you know, we got the studio uh, extra studios work that are being worked on. Uh the upstairs uh guest bathrooms and stuff, the kitchen. Got a VIP uh, lobby kind of thing going on. That's getting worked on. Uh, build a recording studio in the basement of the of this place and uh, the studio here. So, you know, we've had roofing crews. We've had, uh, you know, crews, uh, all that kind of stuff. But I'm personally taking over the, uh, well, I have been for a long time, uh, all the outside uh, landscaping. I'm overseeing that. And actually doing a lot of the labor myself because I love and enjoy doing that kind of stuff. Um, so it's it's ongoing seven days a week. Uh, I try to, uh, you know, try to maintain somewhat of a schedule here. So I appreciate you guys coming back. Uh, you know, they're, they're, I try not to let too many gaps go in between podcasts a day or two or, you know, somewhere in there. Not so much uh, as they did before, but it just... Uh, I appreciate you guys uh, bearing with me, being patient here. Your prayers, your continued prayers. Uh, I tend to overdo it a little bit. Well, a lot, but uh, I tend to kind of, uh, you know, 
uh, overdo it. And of course, like I said, we've we've had triple digits for a long time now, a month uh, of heat. So it's been like as high as 107, 108 here. So I'm trying, you know, really to try to do what I can and, you know, of course, be obedient to the spirit and the calling here. Um, so, uh, you know, I appreciate your patience. I appreciate your prayer, prayers and uh, you guys coming on back to the podcast watching. Now, again, I don't know what's going on with YouTube's algorithm or uh, their view count, but it's off. It, it, like I said, I kind of mentioned it before. Uh, it'll go from... 20 views and then within hours it'll shoot down to about two or three so i'm not sure what's happening i don't know give me a thumbs up you guys if you can i appreciate that subscribe to the channel uh i do appreciate that that always helps uh you know everything going on over there it's kind of a uh different channel so uh it's becoming a different or has become a different kind of channel so uh but uh you know i was it, it, i was i was been on youtube for decades well, quite a long time actually i don't know exactly but uh, i appreciate uh, the opportunity to, to get on that channel so if you can i would appreciate it greatly brothers and sisters go up there and subscribe now i appreciate you guys on the facebook channel always uh always do on all the groups uh brother mark pastor Anna uh you guys you guys know i appreciate you guys uh and uh, again continue your uh prayers uh going out miss d and i want to say a special shout out of course to my family and my sister love you all right uh amen amen do 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 oh mercy well, I was going to go into chapter 8, but I got kind of sidetracked here as I'm just trying to take care of a couple of notes while I see them. Again, I... <laughs> let's go into the book of Romans, my friends. Come on now. Amen. All right. How about we take a look, since we're in the book of Romans anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Hey, we've got Romans chapter 5. I got to do it. Uh, we're going to go into, I don't know, we, we, may, we'll, we might just take a little pause and uh, check out Romans for a minute here, friends. How about we go to Romans chapter 5, brothers and sisters, church of the church, in the church, in the house of the Lord, friends. Uh, results of justification in the book of Romans, my family. What? I didn't check that out. Now, uh, let's see. What did I do here? All right. Now, as we are in Romans chapter 5, results of justification, let's check it out. He says, friends, therefore, there is now. Or let's see. Nope, that's not that wrong verse. <laughs> Let's TiVo that back and rewind it and start again, shall we? Uh, <laughs> uh, chapter 5, results of justification. Therefore, being justified by faith. There it is. Uh, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. By whom also we have access by faith into this grace again, he says. Wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Amen. Not only so, but we... Now, here we go. Uh, friends, have you put your armor on today? Let's get to it. Oh, man, this is great. <coughs> by whom also we have access by faith into this grace, wherein we stand and rejoice uh, in hope of the glory of God. Hallelujah. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations. Also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. I know. I know you're saying, Pastor, where are you going with all this? I'm going somewhere. Come on, let's go. <laughs> All right, he says in verse 4, And patience, experience, and experience hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, 
Ah, uh, because the love of God, that agape love, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, makes you warm. All right. Uh, he shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. Right, so write that down in your notes. By the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us, friends. He's given unto us. For when we were yet without, now again, watch this, friends. Yet we were without strength in due time. Uh, Christ died for the ungodly, friends. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. And that looks bad here. Let me fix that. Yet, peradventure for a good man, uh, one would even dare to die. But God commanded his love towards us in that. While, now watch this again. This is just a mind-boggling, just amazing. While we were yet... Sinners, friends, Christ died for us. He took all that. He, he took the heat for us, friends. Could we? I guess, you know, like I said, this is what I, why I do what I do. I got to. I don't have, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> well, yard work and sleep, but, you know, I have a little bit of coffee, but this is why I do. This is what I'm doing for the ministry. This is what I'm doing for the kingdom, my friends. This is what we got to do in our calling, our call pass. Amen. While we were yet sinners, church, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified of his blood or by his blood, uh, we shall be saved from uh, whom through him through wrath through wrath remember write that word down <laughs> my notes are all over the place i can hardly read what is there i'm like i have to remember the verse and remember the words all right uh let's keep moving friends um ba -ba -bum. Yeah, next verse here for i think it's 10 for if we were enemies we were reconciled to god by the death of his son much more being reconciled we shall be saved by his life and i gotta get a big amen hallelujah on that right uh he said uh again here in verse 10 romans 5 we shall be saved by his life amen all right, bear with me a second here. Do, 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 do. Um, all right. And not only, oh boy, hold on here. Not only by his, uh, let's see, by this, we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. Oh, man. Well, I ordered a, another Bible, so I should have that coming back in in a, in a few weeks here. So I ordered a, another extra large King James, which I really enjoy. I have one, but that turned into a bad, just all kinds of notes all over the place. So I got another one online, you know, I ordered another one. So I won't be having this stumbles here a little bit. All right. Well, let's keep rolling. Um. Life through Adam, salvation. It says salvation through Christ, church. Amen. Now, wherefore, as by one man, uh, one man's sin entered, and of course, that it would be Adam there, uh, into the world and death by sin. And so death passed uh, upon all men, for that all have sinned. Right? For until the law, sin was in the world, but sin was not or is not imputed when there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even before them 
or even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgressions or transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come. Of course, we're talking about Jesus there. But not as the offense, so also is the free gift of grace, of course, for if the offense of one many be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, church, amen, uh, hath abounded unto many. And not as uh, it was by one that sinned, uh, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one uh, to condemnation, but the free gift is of uh, is of many offenses unto justification. Uh, for if by one man's offense death reigned, uh, Amen. So, I don't know what that is. I don't know what. I feel like I, like I said I've been feeling like I'm gonna sneeze the whole podcast here. And I'm trying not to. So mercy. All right, let's keep rolling. I'm, I'll get through it. I'll be all right. Don't worry. Just, we're okay here. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, we're in uh, we're in Romans five. Why not? <coughs> Mercy. All right. Uh, where were we at? Let's proceed. How about fifteen? Right. Uh, but not as the offense. So also is the grace free gift. For if through the offense of one many be dead, much more the grace of God uh, and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, hath abounded unto many. All right, let's go to 16 here. And not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift for the judgment was by one to condemnation. But the free gift is of uh, many offenses unto justification. For if by one man's offense, again, it uh, goes back to Adam. Um, let's see. By the offense of, of let's see, no, no back up track here. Uh, death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. Amen. That's awesome. Now, therefore, as by the offense of one, judgment came upon all men. Uh, to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of the free gift came uh, upon all men unto justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So by the uh, obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Now, moreover, uh, lied that the offense might abound, but where sin abound, or abound dead, grace did much more abound. That as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto the uh, eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Good stuff. Mercy, my friends. All right. How about we go to the next one, chapter six? I was going to do eight, but we may as well just roll, kind of roll right through. Uh, we got some time on the clocks here. Uh, we may as well uh, go ahead and check it out. Now, chapter 6, we're going to stay in Romans for a bit here, friends. We're going to go ahead and keep going. Uh, amen. As we say, freedom from sin's power. Again, we're, we're kind of strolling through the book of Romans this afternoon, friends. Giving you a little double whammy. Uh, we've got Joel and we got our notes. Uh, I think we should go ahead and kind of... You know, have a nice midday, uh, weekday uh, stroll through the book of Romans, my friends. Let's check that out. Let's keep rolling here. Uh, of course, close to two hours again, maybe a little bit over. I never know, but we're going to keep rolling with it. Let's get, uh, let's get to it. Uh, Romans chapter 6, freedom from sin's power. <sighs> All right. What? Shall we say then, friends, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. 
How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that as many uh, as many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ, uh, we uh, were baptized by his death or into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism unto death or into death. Like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so, we also should walk. Now watch this. This is the key again. In the newness of life, friends. That's awesome. <coughs> All right. For if uh, we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall uh, be also in the likeness, now why, again, of his resurrection. That's awesome. Just awesome. All right, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, uh, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that thence uh, or henceforth we should be not, uh, we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now, if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. I, I've got to get to these notes here. Uh, knowing that Christ, being raised from the dead, dieth no more, death hath no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once, but in that he liveth, uh, he liveth unto God. Likewise, reckon ye yourselves uh, to be dead, uh, let's see, to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let not sin, therefore, reign in your mortal body, that you should obey it, as, uh, as it says, uh, the lust thereof. Now, neither yield ye your member by instruments of right, unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God. As those that were alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. Now, we're going to continue. We've got Romans uh, 6 there, right? I believe 6, yep. Uh, Christians are under grace, not the law, my friends. You know that, right? We, we do know that we are under grace and not under the law. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's get that there. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under the law, but under grace, friends. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Know ye not that the, to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey as servants, uh, <coughs> ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death, of the obedience unto righteousness. <coughs> that God be thanked that ye uh, were the servants of sin, but ye were, uh, have obeyed from the heart. That, uh, that form of doctrine which was delivered you. Being then made free from sin, you became the servants of righteousness. Right? Uh, being then, again in verse 18, being then made free from sin, you became the servants of righteousness. I speak after the manner of men because of the uh, infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your members, servants, to uncleanness and to iniquity and to iniquity, even so now yield your members, servants, to righteousness unto holiness. For when ye were the servants of sin, ye were from righteousness. What fruit, there we go, watch this. Now, what, uh, what fruit? Had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? Um, for the end of those things is death. All right. But now being made free from sin and become uh, servants to God, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. Friends. Amen. Love that stuff. All right, for the wages of sin is death. Uh, but the gift of God is eternal life through 
Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. You got to love those scriptures. It's so awesome. All right. What have we got? Chapter 7. Eh, it talks about divorce and all that stuff. We know. We kind of know what uh, what that part is about. So we'll go ahead and just roll through it. Um, let's see. All right. Chapter seven. I know we're going to just keep rolling. I don't, you know, I don't sugarcoat nothing here. I just speak it as it is. I'm reading the Bible here, friends. All right. No, ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law. How did the law have dominion over a man um, as long as he liveth? For the woman which hath a husband is bound by the law to her husband, so long as he liveth. But if the husband be dead, she is loosed from the law of her husband. So then, if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, uh, she shall be called adulteress. Mercy. But if her husband be dead, she is free from that law. So that she is no adulteress, uh, though she be married to another man. Marcy, come on now. Uh-uh-uh. Wherefore, my brethren, ye also become dead to the law by the body of Christ, that she, uh, that ye should be married to another, even to him who is raised from the dead, that we should bring forth fruit unto God. For when we were in the flesh, the motions of sin, which were by law, did work in our members to bring forth fruit unto death. <coughs> but now we are delivered from the law of being dead, wherein we were held, uh, that we should serve in newness of spirit and not in the oldness of the latter. All right. Uh, the problem of indwelling sin. <clears throat> what shall we say then? Is the law sin? God forbid. Uh, bu -bu, there it is. All right. Nay, I had not known that sin, but uh, by the law. For I had not known uh, lust except the law had said, thou shalt not uh, covet. All right, there it is. Uh, all right. Uh, his and the, it says his and the sin, uh, taking occasion uh, by, boy, oh boy, this is bad. I can't uh, hardly read that part. By commandment. Uh, uh, we're going to keep trying to uh, keep trying to read this. It's just the notes and then it got smeared kind of like real like dark here. There's dirt spots in my Bible that I'm reading from. That's why I always have the backup Bibles over here. And I always got the online stuff I can look at as well. But um, you guys know, it was like I said, as long as you've been watching the podcast, I have to stop every once in a while to double check the notes here just to make sure I've got everything. But um <laughs> it's it's bad. It's I'm working on it. And like I said, I ordered another Bible, so I'll be getting a new one. Uh amen. So we're let's see if we can try to get through this part. So the occasion uh by the commandment wrought in me all manner of concupiscence, for without the law uh sin was dead. For I was alive without the law once, but uh when the commandment came, sin um, sin revived and I died. Amen. All right. And the commandment which was ordained to life I found to be unto death. For sin taking occasion by, by the commandment, there it is, uh, deceived me and by it slew me where with the law is holy and the commandment is holy and just and good. All right, let's try to get to the next part here. Uh, mercy, <laughs> man, 13. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
was then that which which is good made death unto me. God forbid, but sin that uh, is righteous disappears uh, to the working uh, death. I believe that's what that is. Uh, working death in me. By that which is good. And sin by the commandment uh, might become exceeding sinful. For we know that the law is uh, spiritual, but I am carnal, sold into sin. For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that do I. I then, or, or if then I do that which is uh, which I would not, I consent unto the law, that is good. And now, then it is no more that I do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. For I know that in me, that is in my death, dwelleth no good thing. For the will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good, I find not. For the good which I would, I do not, but the evil which I would not. That I do. Now if I do that I would not, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Don't get confused there, friends. I know there's a lot of kind of zigzagging through there, but uh, watch those words, my friends. All right, next one. Uh, I find then in, uh, then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man. But I see another law in my members warring against law of mine uh, and bringing uh, me to the captivity or into captivity to the law of sin which is in my members. Oh wretched man that I am who shall deliver me from the body of his death of this death. I thank God through Jesus Christ the Lord. So there with a mind I myself serve the law of God but with the flesh, the law of sin. All right, let's go to the next. How about we uh, take a look at chapter 8. Life in the Spirit. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which uh, are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the spirit of life uh, is Jesus Christ has made me free from the law of sin and death. What the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh. God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and uh, for sin condemned sin under the flesh. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, um, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace friends there we go life and peace through our lord and savior jesus christ because the, the carnal mind is enmity against god uh for it is not subject to the law of god neither indeed can be so then they that are in the flesh cannot please god but ye are not in the flesh but in the spirit if so be that the spirit of god dwell in you now if any man have not the spirit of christ friends he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead shall dwell in you, 
He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies and by a spirit that dwelleth in you. Again, he reminds us we were bought at a price, friends. All right, let's go to the next verse 12. Now, therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. For if you live after the flesh, you shall die. But if you through the Spirit you mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Amen. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit uh, that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Amen. Uh, if so, be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. Hmm. Wow. For I reckon, now watch this, for I reckon that the sufferings of this world, uh, this present time, are not, not worthy to be compared with the glory shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the man, uh, manifestation of the sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who has subject, uh, subjected uh, the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall, shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption under the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. And not only they but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption, friends, uh, to wit, the redemption of our body. For we are saved by hope, and hope that is seen is not hope. For what man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? Ah, mercy. All right. But if we hope... Yeah, let me get my notes together. My bookmarks are falling apart. Uh, but if we hope for that uh, we see not, then do we with patience wait for it? Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the spirit because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of god now as i said and we proceed through friends we are more than conquerors on this wednesday afternoon august 17th there it is <laughs> quick plug but you know we are more than conquerors brothers and sisters we got to remember that Come on, church. And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God. I got to hear it, friends. Do we love God or what? Amen. Look to your neighbor and say, neighbor, for, let's go back <laughs> over 28. Uh, and we know that the things work, all things work together for the good to them uh, that love God. So you got to look to your neighbor and say, neighbor, do you love God? Not just this morning, not this afternoon, not at night, but every single day of the week, seven days a week, 24-7. Uh, uh, what? We, we got to love God, my friends, because he loves us. I'm just saying. <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> oh, mercy. Uh, uh, all right, he tells us, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Amen. 
for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be uh, conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, he did predestinate them. He also called, or whom he did predestinate, whom he called, then he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we then say to these things, friends? And again, turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I got a little something, something for you. Let's get to it. He said, uh, if God be for us, whomst shall be against us? Well, it says, who can be against us? But you know what I'm saying, my friends. Uh, amen. Thank you. Pastor Ina, thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate that. I did uh, give you a little mention at the beginning there. So thank you, thank you, thank you, sister. I appreciate you. Uh, and yes, I'm working for the kingdom of God. I, I got to get back on post here. Uh, I had uh, a lot of little, little issues going on, but, you know, back on track. I do appreciate your support. And uh, I'll uh, PM you here uh, as soon as I get a chance to uh, hope to get you back on. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, um, well, Twitch TV, hold that thought, but I appreciate you guys getting on there. Thank you for that, too. Live on Twitch, live on Mellow Melon, Melon TV. Not Mellow TV, Melon TV, live all over the planet, all over the world. Thank you guys for jumping on. Uh, amen. We are in Romans 8, more than conquerors. Because we are. We're more than conquerors. Amen. All right. Thank you guys. And again, thank you guys on all the channels jumping on there. I appreciate that. That's, uh, boy, what a what a blessing that is. Um, go to the chat line for just a quick second. Thank you for that. I do appreciate that. Uh, amen. All right. Give me a quick second here. Amen. All right, all right. So let's keep rolling. We've got so much to cover. A few more chapters, a few more books here anyway. Probably, uh, like I said, probably not. I don't know how long I'll be on here. Um, we got a little over. Yeah, probably be a, little, a tad bit over two hours today. Uh, amen. Like I said, got a lot to cover. Hanging out. It's good to see you guys. Appreciate each and every one of you. All right, so as we just looked at it, friends, what shall we say then to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Got to get a big amen on that. Now, he that uh, spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Uh, who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth, who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, uh, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, uh, who also maketh intercession for us. Now watch this, friends. When you, like, this has got to be our go-to scripture, right? When the devil hits us with everything he's got, we come back and tell him everything we got. I'm just saying. So let's check this out, friends. Uh, Romans 8, verse 35. Whew. Who shall separate us? From the love of Christ shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long and we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers, nor things present, 
nor things to come, nor height, nor debt, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Whew. Put that down in your sticky notes, church. <laughs> Amen. Oh, I'm telling you, that's so awesome. Uh, we just got to rejoice in that love, that, that agape love. Uh, amen. Um, all right. So let me go just a couple quick my, uh, minutes here. All right. Checking messages. Just a brief second there, folks. Hold that thought. Amen. And amen, because we got to, uh, amen. Uh, my friends, how are you guys doing on this Wednesday afternoon? Give me a minute here, friends, just checking messages. Real quick, I appreciate each and every one of you. Amen to you guys. All over the world, and my good friend of Japan, Konnichiwa, Domo Regato, my precious sister, and of course, um, my uh, friend in Afghanistan, my pastor friend I'm working with over there as well. I appreciate you. Amen. Um, all right. So, again. Oops, uh, hold on here, friends. Got a quick fiction. Um, amen. And again, um, let's see, Pastor Anna, thank you very much for that. Uh, amen. All right, checking the hotlines, checking the messages here very briefly. Uh, and we, like I said, I got a lot to uh, cover here. I'll be a little bit over, but um, amen. Amen. All right. So let's get that. Uh, let me get that back up on the monitor there on the screen. Uh, amen. All right. Well, I had to go through a couple of uh, just quick messages. Pastor Ryan, again, thank you so much. Everybody on the Facebook pages, on the groups there. Appreciate you. Everybody on Right here live. I uh, um let's see everybody on Twitch TV. Boy, you guys are awesome. Hang in there, bud. Uh just a just a little bit. Hold your thoughts till after the podcast here. Um uh, I'll see if I can answer some questions there. It's tough to balance out while I'm trying to read scripture and then try to answer the the uh, message there, but I do appreciate you. Hold that thought. Just give me a minute or, uh, you know, a little bit of time. Let's close out. Uh, like I said, I got a lot more. Uh, we're not even done yet. Just got a few more scriptures for you. Uh, so just bear with me. Let me get through some of these scriptures. I'll try to, I'll try to uh, go ahead and run through these scriptures here. Uh, amen. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, well, we're going to move on over to Revelation, my friends. So I hope you have your Bibles out with you. Uh, Revelation, again, we're going to go back into the Word of God. Back into Revelation 12, 11. All right, so we're recapping this. Uh, friends, it's going to be repeated here on the next couple of uh, podcasts on Friday, I believe. Uh, we'll talk about the two witnesses again. So let's kind of move over to uh, Revelation here, friends. We're going to uh, talk about uh, talk about the, the, the two witnesses here. Uh, we're going to bounce on over to Revelation uh, 11, uh, friends. So let's uh, check out 11. And let me get my notes here for a brief second. Uh, I just I want to touch basis with uh, chapter 11 here. Uh, friends, so bear with me. Let me get this taken care of. Uh, we're in part one. You're live on the air. Appreciate you guys. Uh, so let's, let's see. Let's go. 
And let's take a look at it, my friends. I had to just kind of briefly uh, readjust my notes here. And give me a minute, just a second here. Um, do, 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 do. Do 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 do. All right, so give me a minute here, friends. Hold that thought. Don't go nowhere. Stay tuned. Hold on. I got a lot more for you. Ah, uh, mercy. We're gonna look at it again Revelation. Let's go to look, Revelation eleven, uh, friends. Let's go ahead and check out the two witnesses. Amen. All right, um, bear with me again. Uh, Twitch TV, hold that thought. Just give me a minute. Let me get, well, more than a minute, but let me get some time here. Let me read some scripture, and uh, I'll try to answer uh, as best I can for you. Amen. I know when you got those thoughts and those, you know, those, you're thinking about things and you got questions, uh, you know, you kind of want to get an answer right away, but it's, it's, it's tough for me because I'm by myself. Uh, here in the studio. Now, I do have a moderator online watching, but I'm pretty much controlling it from the studio. So uh, when I see the questions pop in, it's tough for me to kind of break away from what I'm doing to answer the question. But I will answer them best I can uh, at the end of the podcast or after I've gone off air so that I can spend some time uh, answering questions. So um Hold that thought, my friends. You're, you're going to be okay. It'll, it'll be it'll be fine, I promise. Uh, amen. So let's check out uh, Revelation 11, the two witnesses. We talked about Moses and Elijah. And then some want to tell or want to say or try to twist it and claim that it was uh, Enoch. But that's a whole other podcast. So we're going to get to this. We're going to get to this part right now. Let's check it out. Uh, the two witnesses, and there was given me uh, a need, or a reed, uh, li <laughs> like unto God, uh, unto a, unto a, or a rod, there it is, boy, I can hardly read that. And the angel stood, saying, rise and, uh, and measure the temple of God and the altar, and them that worship therein. Uh, but the court which is without a temple leave out and the measure of it not uh if not was given unto the gentiles and non-jews um and the holy city shall they tread underfoot uh 42 in two months and i will give power unto my two witnesses and they shall prophesy um amen a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth. So we gotta watch that. All right. Now, are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth? And if any man without uh, or withhold them, uh, fire proceeded out of their mouth and uh, endureth their enemies. Or what is that? Uh, or burneth their enemies. There it is. And if any man, uh, see if any man uh, will with them believe, boy, I'll have to go through that, uh, or will hurt them, uh, he crushed, uh, let's see, he crushed in this manner, uh, boy, uh, be these, be these, right? All right. Maybe I'm missing a part. I'll have to look that up. Uh, these days have <laughs> power to shut heaven, that it rain not in the days of the prophecy, and have power over waters to turn it to blood, to smite the earth with all plague. Now, see again, um, it's talking about the plagues, friend. What are we seeing today? What have we seen for the last few years? And it just never, it's just never ending. He talks about the plagues here, friends. They have the power to shut heaven that it rain not in the days of the prophecy and have power over waters to turn them to blood 
and to smite the earth with all plagues, friends. Clearly, we are seeing this as often as they will. I'm telling you, that's a whole nother podcast. Mercy. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of that or of the great city, which spiritually uh, is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half. And shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put into graves. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry. And shall send gifts one to another. Because these two prophets tormented them uh, that dwell on the earth. And after three days uh, and shall the spirit of life from God entered into them and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them. And they had a great voice from heaven saying, or heard a great voice and saying, come up here. And they ascended up to heaven in a, so, in a cloud and their enemies beheld them. And the same hour, was there a great earthquake again with the mention of the earthquakes front the the plagues the the earthquakes the fires we are clearly seeing the end times are you prepared my friends i'm just saying we never know it'll come like a thief in the night right so we got to be prepared friends amen all right let's get back to the scripture so um all right uh kind of lost oh there it is okay uh the earthquake and we're let's see was that where i was at um Oh, okay. I think we're going to have to go backwards just a little bit. I think we're talking about Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. So let's go to the verse 9. Uh, and they of all people, of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations, shall see their dead bodies three days and a half. We'll be back recapping a little bit here. And shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put into graves. Uh, And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets, clearly, he says, these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. And after uh, three days uh, and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them And they stood upon their feet, and a great fear fell upon them which saw them. And they heard a great voice from heaven, saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven. Uh, uh, Again, taking the notes here, uh, you guys, go ahead and write that down. Uh, Ascended to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. And the same hour was there a great earthquake, again mentioning the earthquakes, my friends, uh, were slain of men 7,000, and the remnants uh, were affrighted and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe is past. And behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Now the seven, I believe that's the seventh trumpet here. Let's check that out. All right. And a seventh angel sounded, and there was great voices in heaven, or were great voices in heaven, saying, 
the kingdoms of this world will become the kingdoms of our Lord and not of his Christ. And uh, herself, or he shall reign over uh, forever and ever. All right. Hang on here, friends. Trying to put the, the puzzle back together here. <laughs> and the four and twenty elders, which uh, sat before, uh, for on their seats shall or fell upon their faces and worshipped God, saying, uh, "Hang on, here, friends. My phone fell asleep. I don't know why. I don't know why it does that. I don't, I don't get it. It's fully charged. <sighs> and there's those sneezes again. Boy, I feel like so close. Sorry about that, friends. This fella, you know. Yep, the battery charger fell out. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'll let that go. That was a monitor, but I've got the other ones going on here. Give me a minute here, my friends. Hold that box. All right. Um, let's see. All right. Bear with me, my friends. Let's see. I think I got that. Um, let's go to the monitors here. Just a moment, folks. Uh, let me go ahead and just drop down to the monitors. Right it go. Okay, all good there. Thank you guys for that, and I do appreciate that. Do 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 do. Let's see. Let's go to that. Oops. And let's drop down to the monitor there. I think we're okay here. Give me a minute. Like I said, I uh, got to check monitors real quick here. LinkedIn, you're live on the air. Good to see you over there. Uh, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network at LinkedIn.com. Check that out. Uh, amazing. Uh, been on there for uh, a little over 10 years. So, uh, amen. All right. I think we're good. Just checking, uh, kind of running through cha uh, channels here. So bear with me. Twitter, you guys are on the air live. Appreciate you being there too. Podcast 3 Live. Uh, always a blessing to be there. All right, so <laughs> I lost one of my monitors, but that's okay. I've got the other ones rolling here. Uh, it's all right. It'll work, and it'll be okay. So give me, like I said, just give me a minute. Just briefly checking through my monitors here, uh, making sure all the channels are rolling live on the air. I think we're okay there. Um, amen. Amen. All right, that's good. Don't forget Instagram, TikTok, Discord, uh, where are we at? Uh, LinkedIn, of course, um, and the Wisdom Channel. Don't forget all those, too. So lots for you. Covered on all the channels across the globe, across the world, back, uh, you know, always up on them, too. So, all right, give me a minute. <laughs> give me a minute. I can't, can't get my monitor <laughs> Here, I'm trying to get my monitor back on. Uh, a little bit of distraction here. Hold on here, folks. Um, all right. So, yeah, bear with me. Uh, I had a glitch. I had a glitch. <laughs> Something happened. Bear with me. Let me get back on monitor here. Um, hold on here. Oh, that's not good. All right, there it is. Um, bear with me, guys. My monitor is freezing up. My tablet is freezing up. Um, so bear with me, guys. Hold on. That's not always good. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, mercy, I need that part too. So hold on. All right. Always something. I never know. Like I said, I never know. It's It always goes through stages and stuff and goes through. All right. Amen. 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 All right. So, 
All right, so we're back on track. I'm here. I'm back. I missed you. <laughs> had a little bit of a pause. I had to go through, check the monitor, make sure everything was working. Uh, amen. I had one. Uh, apparently, um, apparently the uh, power went out, or the pot, the uh, monitor on this thing went out. The electricity went out. So <sighs> I'm getting a replacement. All right, let's get back to the scriptures here. Again, a lot of, uh, you know, little things I got to do uh, throughout this podcast uh, while I'm on the air here. So, uh, amen. It keeps me on my toes, friends. It does. All right. Uh, let's keep going. Let's pick up where we left off. We are in um, Revelation 11. Talking about the two witnesses, right? And I'm going to briefly talk about that on the next one. Um, let's see. Let's pull that monitor back up. Oh, hold that thought. Again, we're talking about the two witnesses here. We're going to do that again on the next uh, podcast, probably Friday. We're going to talk about uh, 11, 12, and 13. Uh, but on this on this one, I just want to go to 11 uh, as it talks about that. So bear with me on this. Um, all right. There it is. All right. Bring the monitors back up. Got that running good. And uh, hang on. Hold that thought. I'm sweating. <laughs> it's in this, I'm in the studio and it's like over 100 or something that feels like this boiling. I got two uh, two fans blowing through the studio right now. <laughs> and holy cow, is it hot. I'm not kidding. I got two fans blowing right now and an air conditioner and the windows open in the studio. But like I said, we've been hitting triple digits. We got four major fires burning through the area, uh, through the region. So the smoke is just really bad. You can, as soon as you step out on your porch, you can smell it, uh, and and kind of appreciate the uh, appreciate the mask at that point to wear one when you go out. Uh, but man, I'm not kidding. It's it's uh, you know we are definitely in the end times. I can feel it. Everybody, I'm sure you guys can feel it too. Uh, you know, you, you can feel, uh, just a shift of spirit, you know, and I, 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 that's all I know how to describe it. Uh, it's just really kind of a strange, eerie, kind of a weird feeling and stuff. But, uh, anyway, um, let's get to the next part here. I do want to close out maybe, uh, with this, um, boy, I got a whole, whole lot a, a whole lot more for you, but we're already way over two hours. Um, and so I, I just want to maybe finish out 11. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we got going on here, friends. Um, so we were at the seventh uh, trumpet or talking about the seventh trumpet here in verse 15. And the seventh angel sounded and there were great voices in heaven saying the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and not uh, and of his Christ uh, and shall reign forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders which sat before them uh, or sat for God on their seats fell upon their faces and worshiped God. Saying, uh, we give thee thanks, O Lord God Almighty. Uh, which, let's see, which sat and, uh, what? <laughs> I told you, it's bad. I can't read the notes here. Uh, and they and are to come because uh, thou, uh, let's see, thou hast taken to thee uh, thy great power and hast reigned. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath had is come. Now, hang on here. And the time of the dead, that the, uh, he should, let's see, be judged. And that thou should, uh, let's see, shouldest uh, he reward unto thy servants and prophets, and to the saints and them that fear them, uh, let's see, name all and uh, great and great. There it is. Mercy. Uh, and shouldest destroy them 
um, see whom destroy the earth. Now, you guys know what that is. You know Revelation 11. Uh, unfortunately, I have to switch Bibles when I maybe or pull them up on the monitor, you know, on the channel and stuff and see, uh, you know, clearly what the words are. So let's continue. Anyway, we got uh, Romans, not Romans, Revelation 11. Uh, and we are at about verse 19, friends. If you just happen to pop on for a minute or two, thank you guys for that. I appreciate that. So, go to 19. We're going to close that out. Um, and the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in the temple the ark of his testament. And there were lightnings and voices and thunderings. And again, and an earthquake right there, clearly, and great hail. Uh, so clearly the signs are here, friends. We have to pay attention and look at what we're seeing, look at what we're watching, and just be prepared, right? Uh, yeah, I'm not t man, oh, I'm telling you, friends, it's, it, you know, for those of us that know and are prepared already, as we, you know, clearly see all the signs and everything going on, we're not worried. We're going to a better place. God's got a, a better uh, a better place uh, set up for us. So we're not afraid. We're not worried. All these people run around, you know, forgetting their authority, forgetting who they are. Why? Why act all surprised? Like, like we know all this is happening. We clearly see it in the scripture. So why do we act shocked and surprised when we see these things happening? I'm telling you, people out there are losing their minds, my friends. Ah, Marcy, come on now. <laughs> wow. All right. So I think what I want to do, my friends, because this is a whole, uh, there's a whole other part here. I don't know if I want to go too far over. Um, we're already over two hours here, friends. So I don't want to get too far over. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll uh, switch this out and uh, save it for the next podcast. Amen. No problem with that. I, I know. Uh, uh, let's see. I know I got a lot more for you. Let's see. So bear with me now. I'm just going to readjust my notes here uh, real quick, friends. So go ahead and. Uh, you know, get your coffee, get your snack on, get your, uh, you know, your Bible's readjusted there. Uh, I'm going to reset uh, a couple of things here for tonight's podcast. Oh, again, uh, I never know. I'm going to try to get back on here later tonight, but I just never know where things are at and, and what's going on. Uh, quite uh, the hectic schedule I got. But again, I appreciate, the, I appreciate it. I appreciate being uh busy and uh be able to just do this as uh god has called me to so uh thank you guys for your massive support always appreciate that as well and uh as i am just resetting tonight's pro uh, podcast podcast uh scheduling here real quick i wanted to try to just kind of readjust a couple of uh scriptures and stuff so uh, I have to do this right while I'm thinking about it, so uh, bear with me. Right. Um, we're going to go into quite a bit, uh, friends. So I, I hope this, uh, you know, I always hope the church services help. Um, amen. I'm always uh, grateful and, uh, like I said, appreciate you guys. Um all right so there it is <laughs> quick adjustments here um amen. i do have to do that make sure i i have that all out uh friends so bear with me again i appreciate your patience toward the end of this podcast i uh, just have to uh make sure i get uh the notes taken care of while i can uh because like i said otherwise i get too far uh distracted there are two uh you know studying the next set of notes and scriptures and stuff so uh, it takes a little bit of time uh to kind of put everything together uh, so let's see i think i got maybe maybe i think i got one more scripture that we'll close out with we're almost at two and a half hours on this 
Uh, and again, uh, I've got another one planned for tonight. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, amen. All right. So I want to kind of reset a couple of spots for me so I know where kind of where I'm at here. Um, and that way I won't have to worry too much. Um, and I think, like I said, I got one, maybe one more for you, and I think we'll go ahead and close out. Uh, friends, just real quick here, a couple of real adjustments. Let's see. Oh, Mercy, thank you guys for your patience. I appreciate you. I do. I, like I said, I got a lot uh, kind of uh, resetting a couple of things here for tonight. Or the next podcast. Now, if I don't get back on tonight, I will get back on as soon as I get a chance. Uh, it won't be early unless I happen to get up or be up by 6 or 7 in the morning. And then I can go ahead and jump on. But I never know. I try to get as much uh, much sleep as possible. And then the Lord says, well, you had your two and a half hours of sleep. Why are you snoozing? Get your coffee and get up. You got some preaching to do. You got some work to put in. I don't know. <laughs> I just never know. So I just try to take it as best I can and do as best I can here for you, you know, and for the Lord. And uh, always uh, appreciate uh, these opportunities. So we are going to roll on here. And again, um, let's see, I probably... I'm going to do, uh, let's see, let's see if we do this, um, 12 and 13. So I'll probably, um, I'll probably go ahead and do that. Um, and let's see, let get that note together there. All right. Well, I think think i'm close to being just caught up just a minute uh, i was kind of thinking things in advance um for sure All right um let's see all right so i'll leave that as it is and uh let's see we got 12 and 13 next i'll probably do that on the next podcast here uh, again, hold on, you guys. Appreciate your patience here for a minute. Um, all right. So, yeah, we will be checking out. Uh, <laughs> and I'm trying. I'm trying to get caught up on this stuff here. Give me a minute. Give me a minute here. Uh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, let's see. <laughs> and... We'll do that. All right. Uh, let's see. We'll see what I get. And the next one, like, probably going to be a restream TV here, uh, front. So bear with me just a little bit more here. And I think that's it. Uh, we will check that out. I'll work on that afterwards. Um, let's see. I think what I want to do, friends, I want to go ahead. Uh, let's see. No, I won't do that. Um, let's see what I'm doing here. Do I know what I'm doing? I don't know anyway. Thank you, guys. Oh, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you so much. Let's uh, let's go ahead and go to one more scripture. I'll close this out. I appreciate you guys. Uh, the key to peace, my friends. You know we got to have that. Be anxious for nothing, he tells us. But in everything by prayer and supplication and thanksgiving, let your request be made known uh, to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, uh, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And, of course, that's over in Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Ah, mercy, my friends. And I think I'll close it out with that. We have gone over two hours, but, you know, uh, I never know how long I'm going to be on or what's going to happen. I'm, I'm grateful for the uh, Wi-Fi fix. Finally, uh, I kind of switched a couple of channels up to the 5G. 
kind of bump that up a little bit. So hopefully it's uh, going to stay good. Um, I appreciate you guys. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Pastor Rick here on a Wednesday afternoon. Almost 4 o'clock, but that's okay. We've got a little over two hours, and I knew that was going to happen. Uh, not a whole lot of, you know, when, when you're in the spirit, when you're shifting, when you're reading the scriptures, boy, you just move with the flow. You go with the flow, my friends. So thank you guys, everybody, on Restream. Of course, YouTube, uh, like and subscribe, if you will, over there. Uh, everybody on uh, Twitch TV, uh, Twitter, all of the channels, uh, Spreaker, Block Talk Radio. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you, and I'll see you as soon as I see you. <laughs> when I see you, let's uh, pull the monitors up. Let's get to, oh, what do we got? So uh, I'll have to find the Blog Talk Radio spot, but let's go ahead and close out with that. Blog Talk Radio on the 17th of August. My friends, good to be here. We started this service at 1 o'clock, a little bit uh, a little bit after 1 o'clock today, but that's how pretty much how it usually goes. So it's got a little bit of issues going on, technical part. I got to reset. Uh, hey, man, you guys are awesome. Thank you, guys. appreciate each and every one of you. Have a lovely day, my friends. Blog Talk Radio. See you on the next broadcast. Amen and amen for Wednesday, August 17th, my friends. Well, after 1 o'clock. Uh, it's now almost 4, but, you know, we were on quite a bit. Let's go, my friends. Amen. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one, friends. Take care. All right. All right. Well, I'll see you guys on the next episode. <laughs> there it is. Block Talk Radio. You guys are out. And let's see what we got happening here. I got another, like I said, another podcast later on tonight. Uh, let's see what we got. We've got a Spreaker channel. Let's get those guys tuned out here. Uh, amen and amen. Right, there it is. Always good to see you guys. I always appreciate each and every one of you. I do. Amen. Hold that thought, you guys. Uh, just a little bit more to go. Uh, mercy, my friend. Let me just a few up here. Always a lot happening. Always a lot going on. And I need to bring that Twitch monitor back up online. There it is. I always uh, really appreciate you guys checking out. Thank you, guys. The camera's that way. <laughs> We're looking over here in the other monitor, Channel 3 monitor, and uh, Marcy. Uh, amen. All right. I always appreciate that. Uh, you know, God is good, my friends. All the time, God is good. All right. Well... You've been here, Studio A. I have been here, uh, friends, past Rick Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network for Wednesday afternoon. Uh, like I said, a little over two hours, but hey, we got a great Bible service, great church service. Uh, amen. All right. Get that thunder for our Springer friends. Amen. Always appreciate you guys. All right, uh, I think we're good there. We got uh, that going. I think we're all right. All right, uh, let's see. Channel one, let's close you guys out on Spreaker.com and uh, Melon TV. Hold that thought just a minute here. Uh, amen. <laughs> All right, what a great opportunity it is. And let me go ahead and close out. I think I want to go ahead and close out the uh, Channel 3. Well, uh, over two hours. But again, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys again for all your support. I'll see you in the next one. Springer.com, Channel 3. You guys are awesome. See you soon. All right, so that is loading in. Uh, let me go ahead and close out one. I'll close y'all out, and y'all can get on out of here. Uh, have a great rest of your day, friends. Pastor Rick, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network for Wednesday, August 17th. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate you. You've been good. It has been a blessing to be here, friends. Back on track, serving the kingdom of the Lord, my friends. Got to do it. I got to do it. I don't know what else to do, but I got to do this. So, 
Anyway, I'll talk to you soon. If uh, you guys leave me messages, I'll get back to you. Uh, give me some time. Be patient. Read your Bibles. And have some water, my friends. And a little bit of coffee. See you on the next one, my brothers and sisters. Church, awesome. And uh, what a blessing. I'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Got more for you. Amen. That's it. I'm out of here. See you soon. Mm -hmm.